appreciate taking the time to uh, do this. I know you're going to be uh, performing in Miami pretty soon with that uh, benefit concert, uh, playing for Change Foundation. Kind of yeah. tell me how that uh, came about. How did you become a part of it? Well, <clears throat> I'm charitable uh, in the general sense. And I think it may have been a relationship uh, bridging over from another uh, initiative that I'm, a, that I'm a part of. And um, just being able to uh, mentor children, uh, music education, uh, these things are really high on a priority list, you know, uh, uh, for me professionally and personally, you know, and it is my natural inc inclination to, to get involved, especially when I'm invited, in, in, you know, uh, cordially. Uh, and so we just made the connection and we took action and here we are. Well, why do you think music so uh, like really important to the youth to really gravitate to it? I know obviously it's important to you and it helps shape your foundation. I think music is important because it's, it's colorless, it's boundless. Um, it's uh, an offering of um, objective uh, and subjective, you know, and it's it's the rhythm of life, you know, and it does not exclude, you know, saying, you know um, everybody can, you know, dance to the beat of their own drum, you know, and it really does help make sense of the living situation uh, at large, simply because it gives reason and rhyme, you know, to 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 life and living. You know, um, when you just can't seem to sort yourself out, you know, uh, you can always rely on a good song to get you through it. Could Could you ever picture your life? I mean, considering where where you've gone musically, what life would have been like if everything went silent, if there was no music anymore? Um, I guess in that scenario, uh, that probably would be very troubling for me um, and difficult, very close to impossible. Um, you know, all I can do is uh, be resilient <laughs> you know, and endure. You know, hopefully that blackout would be something temporary, not for the, the rest of our lives, you know, uh, that which is a worse case scenario. Um, not sure if I want to live in the world without music. And so many people all across the world, not just obviously Florida, not even just this country, go and listening to your music. What is there something that you hope that people kind of take away from what they're listening to from you? I mean, I've always, in general, tried to convey uh, a positive message, um, a counterbalance to. Um, status quo or, you know, um, radio format or, you know, just industry, hodgepodge, you know, just uh, uh, an, a unique and original um, individual account about this, that, and the third, you know what I mean? Because I really want to inspire uh, the imagination and spark uh, the notion that, you know, I can speak up and add on and contribute to culture, which is what we all should be doing as opposed to, so, some people think that their opinion is their contribution, but no, your action is, you know what I mean? And of course, you know, we all reserve a right to have a constructive, you know, critique on this, that, and the third. I mean, I get it, you know, and I do that as well, you know what I mean? But to judge and demean and, um, you know, disconnect from, that's not the way to, you know, that's not the, the, the way to correctiveness, you know, um, you know, but communication is, and music does communicate. And so if one song says one thing, you say another, and then both things can be heard, and then people have their choice, you know. But, but there's never something that, like, when you're deciding to do the next album, it's like, you know what, I want it to be this way. It's kind of what you're thinking of at the time right or do you kind of hit the ground running on a general idea um you know something that's funky uh dance based reality based um and it does reference the times that we're all living in. i think we're all you know um 
essentially on the same wavelength if there is a, a topic or an issue that affects us all as, you know, um, all humanity, you know, um, then yeah, you can, you can hit the nail right on the head. Um, if you always want to, or if you're always seeking the catharticism that music has to offer, you know, not only for, you know, those who you can reach um, and, and affect and influence, but if you also need your own healing um, and, and, and venting uh, process, then yes, music is always a coping mechanism to do that, you know? Um, it's very therapeutic in that way. But, but lyrically, very, but, but lyrically, there's not like that defined route. I mean, it's really what's shaping the world around you, right? Well, sometimes, that, you know, there's a vague way that you can um, that you can reference. Sometimes I think artists don't want to watermark, you know, or date the record. You know what I mean? Um, you know, or else it gets put on a 60s, you know, uh, greatest hits compilation. You know what I mean? Um, you know, if you're talking about the Vietnam War or something like that, you know what I mean? And of course, all of those songs were necessary and utterly relative to that time. You know what I mean? And, and as an artist, it's your duty to address it in song. You know what I mean? Uh, for a solution um, um, or, or, or to find the empathy, the understanding, or the anger. You know what I mean? Um, you, want to, to, you want to vent and express. Um, you know, but you can hardly, you know, it's like, so definitely, definitely you can be quite literal. Or you can be vague, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I think they call it Artful Dodger. Yeah, you can do the both. It, in South, South Florida, I mean, we, we, we love seeing you down here. This is, you're no stranger to the area. Got, got a lot of uh, concerts that have been through the way, whether it was Goody Mob, you with uh, Gnarls Barkley, with Danger Mouse, and, and so forth. What, what does South Florida mean to you? I've always loved Florida as long as I can remember. Um, a young artist uh, from Atlanta uh, coming up and, you know, it was one of the more tangible references uh, regionally that we could reach out and touch. Um, you know, being a stone's throw from Atlanta, Georgia. You know, so the music bed, you know, coming out of Miami, Florida, and, you know, that goes for Luke Skywalker records and, you know, a lot of the, the independence, you know, um, and the sonic connotation, you know, that we connected to, um, you know, it, it, it just made sense. And, you know, one of our first beloved artists, you know, MC Shy D uh, from Atlanta, Georgia, you know, was signed to Luke Skywalker records uh, back in the 80s. And, you know, there was a connection there. So we were really watching his growth and seeing those great videos, um, the energy, the dancing, uh, the tempo, the crowd participation, uh, you know, it was great. You know what I mean? It was just the first wave. And I've, I've been connected to Florida, you know, uh, in that way ever since. And, and are you attaching yourself uh, to uh, Formula One? We're, we're right here, right around the corner. You got all this stuff with crypto going on as well. I, I try to be uh, multifaceted and dynamic, you know what I mean, like um, effectively um, juggling a few things and, you know, in hopes that, you know, nothing suffers in the process, you know, try not to drop the ball. So with, today's the day with, with the NFL. Are, are you a Falcons uh, guy? You're going to be watching the draft? Yeah, I mean, I didn't watch the draft because I'm just relaxing today, as you can see. Sitting up at the pool, getting some sun, some relaxation, getting ready for the big show tomorrow here in New Orleans, uh, the Jazz Festival. So hanging out with band and crew, you know, having a few uh, afternoon drinks uh, and taking it easy. You hear my dog in the back. You know, it's a family vibe. Nice. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll get back to the business of sports at some later time, but. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not so much an enthusiast in that way. We're like, wait a minute, let me cut this interview short. I gotta go watch the draft. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, I, I know we're really looking forward uh, to the show in South Florida. Love to see 
your support with the youth and uh, everything that you're doing. So if anything else, if there's something that uh, you want to throw out there, uh, definitely let us know. Oh, man. Well, you know, that's everything at the moment. You know, um, just keep your eyes peeled, man. Like for all things CeeLo Green, uh, you know, check out all of my platforms, Twitter, you know, Facebook, uh, Instagram. Uh, I'm out there, man. And, uh, you know, trying to make a difference, fighting a good fight. Awesome. 30 years and counting. Hey, well, I appreciate your time and I uh, look forward to seeing your next show. No problem. Thanks a lot. Bye. All right.